Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Hope you're well. If you're new, welcome. And if you're revisiting, thanks for stopping by again. So today I will be doing a lip swatch video, which is quite exciting because I don't think I've ever done a lip swatch video on my channel ever. Um, so I got how many shades? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So from the um, Revolution Pro um, collection of matte lip pigments I have eight shades um, I think in my Revolution Pro haul I only swatched two shades which was um, Semblance and Premonition so it was these two colours and since then I went to Super Drugs and I took advantage of their 3 for 2 offer and I got six shades so I have these three shades the three these six shades to try for you today in addition to the other two I also um, I also got three of their Revolution lip glosses. So I um, talked about I think this one, Bare All. So this is the one I featured in my Revolution Pro haul, and this shade is Bare All. As you can see, it's very very pale against my skin. And um, I went back and I got this very very out there shade called Corset, and it's a kind of liquid bronze shimmer color and I also got espresso it looked like the perfect chocolatey nude brown so I hope these work out really well um, these lip glosses retail for three pounds and the matte lip pigments retail for four pounds so from the uh, with the matte lip pigments I have actually tried um, two of them together I've actually worn, worn two of them together as a lip combo for two or three days straight now and that is affection and show so this is affection and this is show and so affection is a lighter brown show is a deep chocolate brown and it's a perfect shade of brown by the way so I really wanted a brown shade I feel like I have, ha I have a lot of mauvey pinks and I don't know nudie beige whatever I don't have a nice rich chocolate brown shade which is kind of like 90s-esque so I'm, a 90, well, I'm not a 90s baby but I kind of relate more to the 90s than I do to the millennium but yeah so I wanted to try those two colors so let me just get straight to the swatch before my memory card gets full so I won't be um oh by the way I won't be um waiting for these to dry down I have worn these before so I can already tell you what at least two shades will be like um so the ones I've worn like I said are affection and show and what I've noticed with them is that they take a bit of time to dry down I think maybe I want to say 10 minutes I've never really actively waited for them to dry down but I want to say maybe maybe 10 minutes is an exaggeration between 5 and 10 minutes they dry down to a proper matte and they do like properly dry down they're like dry um, so the only thing I could definitely say is even though they do dry then they don't crack on your lips they dry and then they just basically cover your lips they seal your lips so they don't like you know like suck, suck the life out of your lips but they are quite matte against your lips and you do feel them once they're fully dry so um, that's they're quite comfortable but after a while you know um, out of, maybe out of habit you might lick your lips some more um quite a lot and you might find that that's drying your lips out a bit more so what you might want to do is um put a clear um, lip balm on top and see how that works for you so that might just moisturize your lips i did that yesterday and i don't think it took any oh yeah so weirdly enough i thought i'd do that because my lips were feeling dry about maybe three or four hours in and i put my nivea clear lip balm on top just add a bit of um, moisture to my lips and I don't think it moved the lip um, pigment too much I don't think it did yeah so you can try that and see or you can just put another gloss on top and the great thing with putting a gloss on is just you know you change the look basically you change the color and with the gloss it makes it easier to wipe away and if you wanted to reapply um, you know at whatever point you could do that as well so enough rambling I will get to the lip swatches so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try and go from light to dark just in case any of these stain my lips. So I will go from, so the first one I will go with is this really out there color. I just thought I would try that. I love the name first of all and it's very, very true to the color. So this one is called Wag, Wags to Riches and it's a kind of a molten gold. It's a molten gold color which is really really nice I love the packaging on these they look really you know quite expensive um, I probably should have moisturized my lips a little bit but I suppose I'm not gonna wait for this to dry so I'm just gonna be wiping it off and um, yeah just watching it's 
So this is very, this is a very 90s colour. Um, I'm clearly not going to be wearing this out on its own. Um, what you can do if you wanted to wear something like this is to line your lips and then put um, a pinky nude lip gloss, a pinky kind of nudie lip gloss on top and that will completely change the look and it will just be like, um, it will just be a bit more wearable. So yeah, so this is what, what is this called? Rags to riches looks like. Next is semblance and with um, rags to riches it applied really well um, it's quite pigmented so you probably wouldn't need more than one but if you really wanted to go for a proper gold you know kind of editorial look you might need to layer it up maybe one more time okay I think we're good to go so next is no I've just done that <laughs> next is semblance and semblance is a grey mauve colour, grey, on my lips it might look really really grey, so let's see. My lips are kind of dark with kind of like a grey undertone to it, so it might not be so bad. So, semblance is the colour I got online. Clearly this is not my shade, okay? I'm not crazy, so I don't know that. Um, what I do plan to do with this is layer it up with another warmer colour because this is like casket ready. Yeah, so this is semblance. So even with lining my lips, it saves it a little bit, but it's not enough. So you definitely need to line, um, not just line your lips and also top it up with a lip gloss that's a warmer colour. So this is clearly not a shade I would have got if I tested it out in the store. I got this online and it looked a lot richer. So next is, next, next, next is, I will be trying out Affection. So Affection looks like this. So I think for this type of colour, what really helps is the fact that I, what really helps what really helps with this type of colour is the fact that I have dark lips so I can fill in within the um, boundaries of my lips if that makes sense so I leave kind of like a dark almost like a natural lip liner type of look so that's kind of what I've done I feel like I'll definitely need to line my lips with a richer colour though just to make sure it blends in but with this um, this is a workable colour but I'll definitely for me to make me feel more comfortable and to wear it the way I normally would I would have to have something darker or maybe a gloss on top and that would be um, an easier, wearable, more wearable look. So this is semblance. Next is show. So show is a very kind of um, mighty look I want to say, it could also be, you know, you can also say it's a gothic, gothic type of look as well, um, obviously with the right eyeshadow and the right makeup, but yeah, so this is what show looks like. I want to say so far, um, my favourites are what the two, t the two that I've just tried, which is affection and show. I want to see how the others also look on my skin. Next, I'm going to be taking Premonition, which is the other shade I bought in my Revolution Pro haul. So with this, I'll definitely also need to line it. Um, possibly, yeah, so I'll definitely need to line it, or maybe I might just be able to get away with it with a slightly darker gloss. But I like, I like this colour. It's an everyday colour and it's easy to wear. So this is Premonition. Next is Telepathy. And it's a slightly deeper shade of pink mauve. So this um, is another great shade. Um, I feel like I can really mix the two together, put this around the perimeter, put this in the center, create like an ombre look. Quite like this. Also, I feel like, I, I, don't, I don't know, I feel like it looks a bit lighter on camera than it does in real life. This I could actually wear on its own. 
I would probably still line it just to have that security blanket. I just feel like lining your lips will save almost any colour. Um, you know, if I want to line something, I line my lips, I always use like a dark brown um, lip pencil. Or if you don't have a lip pencil, just use an eye pencil. But yeah, so this is Telepathy. Next is a nice pinky um, purple colour and it's called Precaution. It looks a lot more fuchsia pink on camera, but it has more purple to it in real life. Just, just a tad lighter than it actually looks in real life. So um, definitely I would have to line this, I would have to line my lips with this, but this is what Precaution looks like. And last but not least is a shade that I really really wanted to get because I just love the perfect shade of red. This looks like an orangey red and the shade is called Inconspicuous, which yeah, it's fitting. <laughs> So this is a really really bright orangey red. Um, I think just to be safe I would still need to, I will also need to line my lips with this. But because it's a red and it's a red that I'm quite excited about, I'm just going to line my lips on camera so we can all see what it looks like when it's lined. lining your lips always saves most colours so this isn't as brown it blends into my skin a lot more um, it's definitely a quite a summery spring shade I have to match this up with a bright eye look maybe or maybe even a nude but I definitely like the shade yeah so this is inconspicuous I probably should have taken done this before I line my lips but anyway so this is inconspicuous and that brings me to nearly the end. So I'm going to show you how I mix the two, my two favorite shades so far. So I'm going to mix Affection and Show, or Show and Affection rather. So this is what affection and show look like. I'm just going to line my lips really quick. So to me, this is the perfect everyday shade of brown um, matte lip, lip liquid lipstick. But anyway, so these are my two favorite combinations of the moment. Let me know what you bought collection if you've bought any if you're looking to try some or if you think my videos helped you make your decision in terms of which colors you might buy but yeah i really enjoyed this and i should do more of this i think maybe i might do the next video i might do is my favorite lip combinations maybe across this range i might do a part two to, to this hopefully i have time and hopefully it won't be like two or three months later god help me Oh yeah, so I also forgot that I said I was going to swatch the lip glosses. I'm just going to go through this real quickly. Um, the, the first shade I'm going to swatch is Bare All. These smell really nice by the way. And I think this actually works out um, quite well because my lips kind of are, my natural lips are kind of like a dark grey brown anyway. So this isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be considering how light it looks in the tube. It's not too pigmented. So all I'll probably need to do is to line my lips with this and I'll be fine to actually wear it on its own. And I like the applicator as well. It's flat just like the matte lip pigments um, and this has a really sweet smell to it. So it smells really nice. And it reminds me of um, my sleek lip gloss. Yeah, it reminds me of one of my sleep lip glosses. But it doesn't feel sticky at all and it feels really comfortable and moisturizing, which is what you want from a lip gloss. It's amazing that some lip glosses don't actually give you that. But yeah, um, I definitely really like this color. Next, I'm going to be swatching ex Exposed. I'm not sure if I called it Expresso before. It's called Exposed. So this is what Exposed looks like. It's 
really, really nice. This is my favorite and I'm so glad I got it. And then lastly, I'm gonna swatch corset. So this obviously isn't a daytime type of look. I will definitely put this two together or I might put it together with I might put it together with bare or just add a bit of sheen to it but this is what exposed looks like so I'll probably actually let me put let me put these two together so we see what they look like so this adds a bit of dimension to my lips It looks a lot more impressive in person than it does on camera so I don't think you can even truly appreciate what it looks like it looks a lot more impressive in person than it does on camera so I don't think you can truly appreciate what it looks like in person but I'm gonna see if I can zoom in a bit so it's these two colors it go again it's exposed and corset That wraps up my little sweat lip that black. <laughs> that wraps up my little lip swatch video. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Please comment down below. Please hit the notification button. And with that, I will leave you to go about your day. Have a blessed day. I will see you in my next video. I think yeah, like I said, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do my combination like as a part two of this. I'm gonna combine these colours together and give you like a lip combo type of lip swatch video. I don't think there's too many of that going around, so that might be a new thing. So maybe I'll start a new trend for a change. But yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.